Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Saturday, July 26th. It's the sixth week after Pentecost and week three in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 139 and Joshua chapter 23, verse 1 to 16. And please join with me in singing the second verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. I'm going to give us a little uh, starting tone here on my recorder. Please pardon my terrible recorder playing. sitting down and my standing up. Alleluia. Psalm 139. And please recite it together with me. Alleluia. My God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. You understand my thoughts from afar. You know my walking and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue but you, O oh God, know it altogether. You have beset me behind and before, and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, and I cannot attain it. Where can I hide from you? Where can I run from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, the night shall be light around me. Even the darkness is not dark for you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you have created my inmost being, you have stitched me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and I know them all. My body was not hid from you when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes beheld my body, unfinished in the womb, and in your book all my members were written, which day by day were fashioned when as yet there were none of them. How precious are your thoughts, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Surely you will slay the wicked, O God. The bloodthirsty must depart from me, for they speak against you wickedly, and your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate them, O God, that hate you? And am I not grieved with those that rise against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them as my enemies. Search me, my God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wickedness in me. And lead me in the everlasting way. Glory to you, source of all being eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. My God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Joshua, chapter 23, beginning at verse 1. 
A long time afterward, when the Most High had given rest to Israel from all their enemies all around, and Joshua was old and well advanced in years, Joshua summoned all Israel, their elders and heads, their judges and officers, and said to them, I am now old and well advanced in years, and you have seen all that Yahweh your God has done to all these nations for your sake. For it is the Most High your God who has fought for you. I have allotted to you as an inheritance for your tribes those nations that remain, along with all the nations that I have already cut off from the Jordan to the great sea in the west. And Yahweh your God will push them back before you and drive them out of your sight, and you shall possess the land as the Most High your God promised you. Therefore be steadfast to observe and do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, turning aside from it neither to the right nor to the left, so that you may not be mixed with the nations left here among you, or make mention of the names of their gods, or swear by them, or serve them, or bow yourselves down to them. But hold fast to the Most High your God, as you have done to this day. For the Most High has driven out before you great and strong nations, and as for you, no one has been able to withstand you to this day. One of you puts to flight a thousand since it is the Most High your God who fights for you, as he promised you. Be very careful, therefore, to love the Most High your God, for if you turn back and join the survivors of these nations left here among you, and you intermarry among them, so that you may marry their women and they yours, know assuredly that the Most High your God will not continue to drive out these nations before you. But they shall be a snare and a trap, a scourge on your sides, and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from this good land that the Most High, your God, has given you. And now I am about to go the way of all the earth, and you know in your hearts and souls, all of you, that not one thing has failed of all the good things that the Most High, your God, promised concerning you. All have come to pass, not one of them has failed. But just as all the good things that the Most High your God promised concerning you have been fulfilled, so the Most High will bring upon you all the bad things until he has destroyed you from this good land that the Most High your God has given you, if you transgress the covenant of the Most High your God, which he enjoined on you and go and serve other gods and bow down to them. Then the anger of the Most High will be kindled against you, and you shall perish quickly from the good land he has given to you. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed in righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. And for all of your intentions. Let us sing together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O beloved Creator, we praise you and for your wonderful works, and we thank you for our marvelous creation. You know everything about us before we even know ourselves. Cast our sins behind your back. Lead us in your everlasting way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.